Hi, can you please slay for us? I cannot. I don't even remember. Hi, can you please slay for us? Can you please slay for us? Hi, I'm Richard Ye. I live in Los Angeles. I am reading for Citibank today. Greeting, Audrey Levon. I'm based in Los Angeles and I'm reading for the Citibank today. What's up? My name is Ramon Carrieto. I'm from North Hollywood, California. Okay. We're going to do this. You don't want to pause, 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 pause. All right. I don't try to <laughs> change your mannerisms. Now, no, no, no. You see this? You see this? You see this? You see this? Good. No, no, no. Okay. So this, 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 and no gun. It's chest. I don't know it. Why am I pointing that out? Pointing out what the hand in the back would be in position. Yes. Show of nervousness. Yeah. You concur. Oh, yeah. So let's fix it. <laughs> <laughs> so, look at the camera. All right. That's what's taking footage of you, and that's who you're presenting for. Okay. So, Lose where you're from, you should be from LA. Okay? Unless it's a self tape and they specifically ask for your location, we assume that it's Los Angeles. Okay? No hands. Okay. Why are we doing this? To simulate an audition. Yeah. So, I'm going to have you guys go out one more time. Okay? This time, Block out everything. The lights, these people, they cannot help you. Okay? Your only friend, it's not me behind there, because I'm probably criticizing. But that camera right here, that's your safety net. It's watching. So be gentle, be positive. That's what you're going to focus on when you come in the room. Nothing else matters. Okay? Try one more time. Why do you come into the room and come in a positive manner? Show your personality. There we go. All right, please come into the room. <laughs> Beautiful bunch. You guys see the difference? Okay, now. Who knows how to slate? You know how to slate. Come to the middle. Hello, my name is Ramon Carrieto. And please show us your profiles. Good. Travel back. Ramon, the only thing that you could change just a little, you still have that like friendly demeanor, so you don't have to be as stiff as stiff. But what you're doing is the basic fundamentals. Okay. So if you hit that, that's good. Right. But you could be a little bit more loose. All right. All right. Question? Uh, would we actually be in a line like this, or would we actually? Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Um, most likely it will be you're saying type unless they're doing a group uh, scenario where you're partnering with like a group of friends. But yeah, they're going to bring you in most of the time, especially if it's for a national commercial. If it's a TV show, then it's just going to be you and the casting director. And they're not going to ask you to slate because they already have your information for TV. But for commercials, they're seeing so many people that this is one way that they can cut like half the people out, just off of seeing your slate, without even looking at your audition. Hands. 
<laughs> Hi, please wait for us. Hey, what's up? My name is Chadrick Royce. Yeah, it's your camera. I was. <laughs> okay. What's hey, what's up? My name is you, Chadrick Does it make sense why you're doing it to camera? Yeah, because like that's the person that's going to be watching the video. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, what's up? My name is Chadrick Royce. Okay. Please give us your profiles. So, if you're here, you can just like slide this way. Oh, uh, so that, yeah, take that. Okay. Now you see he said, hey, what's up? Okay. That's his persona, his personality. Okay. As long as it's positive, it doesn't matter what you say. All right. We're all different. Hi. Please say for us. My name is Antonio Ray. Antonio, please uh, give us your profiles. Good job. Come up real quick. Right here, right here, right here. Okay, so uh, give me the profile. Bam. Now the other profile, you just, you can swing back this foot and then just right around. So you don't have to come back forward. Yeah, but you don't have to do it super fast. Just move with it. Go ahead. And then to camera. Good job. Hi, please. Slay for us. Hi, I am Sasha A. Sasha A. Yeah. B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> and can you please give us your profiles? Beautiful. Okay. Keep the energy, keep the energy, hands. <laughs> Bad habits. <laughs> and habits are hard to break. Yeah, they are. But that's why we're here, mm -hmm. to work on them. Hi, please wait for us. Hi, how are you doing? Good evening. Uh, my name is Richard Yeh. Hi, Richard. Can you please give us your profiles? straight to camera. So the, when you don't have your eye line on camera, it's we're seeing all of that. Okay. okay, so the different looking. So even when you have a scene, if you're talking to someone, make sure that you pinpoint who you're talking to. So if I'm talking to person A here, and then I start talking to person B, I'm going to come right back here for person A. If I'm talking to person B, but then I come back here for person A, doesn't match. Okay? No question? Yep. Uh, in several classes I've had, when we're doing with the camera, uh, they have us look not into it, but right next to it. Right. For this case, is it the same? So the only difference, you will look into the camera if you are slating. Why? Because you are talking to someone, right? So if I'm talking to you, you can see my eyes, Yes. right? You can see my smile. You can see that I'm present with you. Mm -hmm. But if I'm talking to you and I'm not looking at you, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. okay. In your scenes, however, so if you're auditioning and this is a self-tape, then yes, you're going to place the individuals never directly into camera because you will be breaking the fourth wall. If you are hosting or doing what? What else? Game show. A game show, and you're talking to the audience, then yes, you would break the fourth wall. Anything cinematic, if maybe Daredevil, I think Daredevil talks to the camera. But for the most Deadpool. part, Deadpool, there we go. You're on tonight. I'm trying to help you. I know you're, I know you're a little off, so I'm Just a little. Yeah. Wait a minute. Dead. <laughs> Hold on. It is dead. No, you are. Trust me. Yes, you are correct. So, Ramon, if you're talking to a group of people and you are hosting, where are you going to look? At my audience. Wrong! <laughs> hosting. Oh, I'm at the camera. I'm at the camera. Right. If 
You are in a J.J. Abrams film on set of the new Titanic. And you have the lead role. (laughs) (laughs) And you're talking to young Rose. Where would she be? She would be right next to the camera. Like right there, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't be looking at the eye of the camera. Yeah, you're looking at Rose. Yeah, looking at Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully she's there. Okay, any questions yeah, on this I part? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. How about uh, for commercial? When you are doing commercial, do you directly look at the camera or do you look at the side of the camera? It matters the type of commercial. So, once again, if it's a hosting scenario or you're selling a product to someone, then it would be to camera. So for instance, which one did you get? You got Citibank. Citibank. So you have to use your imagination on how you're gonna approach this performance, okay? Are you talking to, you know, a group of people and you're being broadcast all over the nation? Or are you talking to a family that's standing in front of you? If you're talking to a family that's standing in front of you, then that family is going to be either over here or over here. Maybe two people are right here. The other two are here. If you are broadcasting, then it's going to be to camera. Okay? Make sense? Yep. Thank you. All right, perfect. Good job, you guys. Oh, one chance, one chance. We are always selling something. What do you think we're first selling? You are the brand. Okay? And all of you have beautiful personalities. But why wasn't it? Yours was there because you used technique. Even though it was a little forced, but on camera, they can't really tell. Okay? So that's the good thing. Um, camera can be very forgiving in that sense. Why were you not showing the beauty of your personalities when you first came up? Don't answer. Think about it. Keep that with yourself. And then just know you have the people that came in the first time versus the third time. If they went against each other, the third group, they look like people that we would actually want to work with. Not the first group. Okay. So if you're ever in an audition scenario again where you come in, remember the first thing you're doing is you're selling yourself. Unless it's TV and you're a method actor, or it's a film and you're a method actor, and you're deep into your character, and you're just gonna come in and you're gonna audition just like that. Besides that, be personable and then switch into your character. Oh yeah. So the first time when you came in, you were like, yeah, this, mm-hmm. this, this, you were here, you were here in your pockets. But then that next time, it's like, okay, he's pretty cool. He's a decent individual. At least that's what it looked like on camera. If you're not in real life, who knows? We're acting. Okay. this one more time so you don't find where I am okay who's your friend uh, I can't know. Okay. Okay. loosen up be loose and just look over in the camera region okay and just be cool 
you did a lot of lifting over here, okay? Just that reason. Your demeanor, it's just a little bit more, more uppity, yes. Remember, in this class, we're getting into improv and commercials. Um, when we do privates, we deal with more TV and film sides, but because everyone's on a different level, I can't just give you theatrical sides right now in a code reading situation. For the commercial world, we are selling ourselves. We are the brand, we are the product. The first thing that we are selling is the fact that someone would want to hire us and work with us. That's the first thing. <laughs> you see? Whoa, 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 I'll be real quick. Hold, I'll be no, 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 no. Don't try to hold it in. <laughs> but you see, he has the smell, right? Yeah. He has it. He it's, it's wanting to come out, but there's something holding him back. So, just that small habit, that's something that he has to work on. We're all instruments, so some of us, it's gonna be easier for us to smell, some aren't. Um, but just understand, what they're looking for is someone that has a positive nature. Once again, we first have to attack the commercial world before we can move into auditioning for film, where you can just come in and be a character, okay? Just be likable. For you, a little bit more. <laughs> there you, where was that hiding? Oh. You see a difference? My cheeks hurt. <laughs> Good, it should. So who works out here? Okay, when you guys go and work out and you haven't worked out in a long time, what does it feel like? It hurts, but you have to tear down the muscle in order for it to grow. So if you don't feel that, then that means that you're not working that muscle. Okay, out. Are you guys pay very close attention to this? See what not to do. You had a question. I'm so yes, sorry. my question was if you have a actual audition for the commercial, do you sleep like this when you are doing self tape or not? For a lot of commercials, they will ask for your profile. Everything since COVID happened, it switched up a lot of stuff, especially with self tapes. So this is. Can you guys hear me? No. Come in real quick. Actually, walk, walk in. I'll answer your question. You guys come in. Mm -hmm. Positivity. Keep that. Don't look at me, the camera's your friend. <laughs> Good. Wow. No hands in the pockets. <laughs> okay, now your question. And we're just gonna all just be loose. Okay? While they just sit and look at us. What was your question? Oh, that was the question. So COVID switched up everything. So now you gotta think about it. So for commercials, if let's say there's 50 commercial casting offices, <clears throat> each one of those are their own company. So they're not in cahoots with each other. So they're all creating a breakdown of what they want you to do to help their job. Because every casting director, their job is on the line. They audition just like you audition but they're auditioning for the production company, for the ad agency, and it only helps them by giving them, giving you the instructions that they need you to convey. So some casting directors are very detailed. Everything's going to be in the notes. Now they could be freshmen, this could be their first project, right? Or it could be a grad film. Or it could be someone from 200 South that does casting all the time. Their information is going to be different. So the biggest thing that I can give you to answer that is pay attention to details. But if you get an audition in person, especially in the commercial world, they're going to bring you in like this 
or they're going to bring you in solo. They're going to have you slate to camera. Then they're usually going to have you do profiles. And then if it's a food product, they're going to make you show your hands or any other thing that they need. Cool? Yeah, thank you. Um, one last thing. So the reason is one of my business partners, uh, Cass and Derek, they're Carl Sullivan. And, well, I won't put anyone on blast, but when you get 700 auditions, okay, and you have to do a callback, do you think casting directors are watching all 700 auditions? No. No. Absolutely not. <clears throat> there, are there some casting directors that will? Yeah, maybe. But most of the time, they're looking through the slate. And because, especially since COVID, a lot of people don't have updated headshots. So it's one way for them to quickly see if you look like anything similar or even close to what you submitted on your headshot, which is very important. So this is a way for them to meet you while keeping a distance. Please slate for us. Anthony Okay, so remember, straight to camera. Okay. Name's Anthony Pye. Now, Anthony, you slated it out <laughs> to, yeah, the, to yeah. the wall there. Why? Uh, I don't know. It was like, I was trying to look straight, but like, as if like the camera was in front, but the camera's there. Okay. Attention to detail. Yeah. Please slate. So, my name's Anthony Pye. And please give us your profile. Hi, please slate for us. Hi, my name is Camille Clemens. And for you, Camille, I want to see a wave. Okay. Yeah. And please slate for us. Hi, my name is Camille Clemens. Okay. You see that? Give a little bit of personality there. Hi, I'm Philip Suba. And profiles. There you go. Okay. Keep that. Remember that. Always. Please stay for us. How you doing? I'm Jay Flamingo. And please give us your profile. <laughs> you cannot hide! Come out and play with us! There's a, there's a little kid inside of you that's like, I want to come out and play, I want to play, I 